Vlogmas Day 9, we're going to be talking about a very, very important uh, topic today, meaning uh, about mental health. Um, I'm going to go get medicated, so I'm not super anxious when I talk about this. Um, and we're also going to go make some tea that we got from Trader Joe's yesterday. So, good morning. This is something I've been putting off for a long time. What? What is it? No, you can't go outside. No. No. She has her leash and harness in here. Yes, she is leash and harness trained, but I can't. No! 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 Oh, come here, you little big fat soul. No! No! You are not leaving. No. No. I totally didn't get that on video. She just shot out of the back door went all the way to his back chair for those like big curly tail lizards so if you're native to florida and you know what i'm talking about let me see if i can find one she, i know she got him and because but he got loose oh there's one right here i call them like dragons they're from the bahamas or something I came to florida but they're freaking huge You see that? You see that? They're huge. And I have like a curly tail and stuff. Where'd you go, fucker? Like they're everywhere. You invasion species. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. Do you talk about? stuff. Is that Boots? Nope, that's firewood. I don't know where Boots is. Where's Boots? Is that Boots? Is that Boots? Boots. Hi, Mama. Hi, Minnie. Hi guys, welcome back to Genji Buds. My name's Jules, and today we are going to talk about something that may be triggering to those who are or have been suicidal in the past or have mental health issues of any sort or mental illnesses of any sort. So please be wary when you continue to watch this video and viewers um, discretion is advised just because I just don't want to say the wrong thing and offend the wrong person. Um, let's take this off because I could feel my ears. I feel I can I feel like I'm echoing when I talk. So we have our tea. I'm drinking the uh, Trader Joe's winter wake up tea. I put a little honey in it. Oh my god, that tastes so good. And we're outside. I may be talking a little bit low just because I've been regretting, not regretting, I've been dreading to make this video for a while because I, I know what to say, but then again, I don't know what to say. Um, just because I've been going through this scenario in my head so many different times and I just wanted to talk about this when I knew I was almost fully ready, but I know I'll never be fully ready, so I need to talk about it today. Hold on, let me get my moose labs. Mouthpiece off. I just zend out, medicated, um, for my anxiety. 
So I suffer from depression, anxiety, insomnia, a bunch of other stuff. Um, I'm not going to go into full detail um, about it, about my like diagnosis. Um, but I've had these problems since I was probably about 11 to 13 years old is when they started to really peak. Um, my father did take his own life, hence why I used to be very, very suicidal. Um, there is going to be a little bit of wind, so bear with me. I did not bring out the little wind windproof attachment. Um, but yeah, you know, he was my best friend. And those of you who know me from growing up in the Keys, and those of you who know me personally today, you know I miss him a lot. Also, um, a couple other people in my life and family members have committed suicide, and they've also passed away naturally. And that just made me want to, you know, not be here. Also, the fact that I would always feel like I'm always messing up, or I'm not good enough, or I don't know. I just, people feel like that. When a lot of trauma happens in their life, and you know, when my mom had to be both mom and dad for the past 14 years since before his death, you know, it's really hard to accept. It's been 12 years now. I still cry about it like it was yesterday. Of course, he was my father. Um, you know, we had a really good relationship. Not so much towards the end, but I still remember the good parts. <sighs> but that triggered a lot of traumatic stress. Um, as a young preteen and teenager, you know, rebellion, this, that. Um, as a young adult, it turned into alcoholism, substance abuse, um, I was put on a lot of mental health pills, or mental illness pills, and it made me crazy. And then that's when I found holistic medicine and apothecaries, and it saved my life. It wasn't just cannabis, it was everything. Skull caps, hops, extract, uh, there's someone doing construction. Thanks. A lot. But anyways, yeah, it's just all that. Sorry, I feel like a mosquito bite on my foot. Um, but it's all of that that just came together and helped create a positive background and positive formation for me to build up on. From being never going out to going out, drinking alcohol every day, till... 4 p.m. to 8 in the morning. No, I'm not kidding. If you know, you know. So I have been, oh, there's a little ant on the flower. It's been a month and two weeks since I have been, no, a month and 10 days since I have been out drinking like that. And I quit cold turkey. I just, I had my surgery November 1st, and I quit drinking October 30th. October 31st, I stayed home, watched Halloween movies with mom. But I really, really didn't think I was going to make it this far to age 25. And if it wasn't for the help of my friends, I love you, Alex. I love you, Lily. I love you, Lisa. I love you, every, everyone that has helped me. I love my sister Michelle, I love you mom, I love you grandma, I love everybody. They've helped me. And they've helped me realize who I am, what I'm capable of, and that this is not the end. Yeah, a lot of my friends are dead. Hell, almost all my friends are dead actually. Um, but I'm still here. There's this beautiful God, green earth that the gods have given us, you know, that the universe have given, has given us, and I'm still here. I didn't give up, so what else can I do? I'm back on YouTube. 
I'm doing art. I'm making jewelry again, which we will do a little video for Vlogmas later this week. Um, but yeah. I saw a hummingbird for the first time since I was a little girl. Would I have seen that if I was dead? Probably not. Would I have been able to spend Christmas time with my family? No, probably not. Because I wouldn't be here. But... I'm not crying and I'm proud of myself. Usually I'd be crying when I'm talking about this. But I'm not. I just spilled tea. On my arm. <laughs> but I'm... Um, this is going to be a very raw video. Only thing that's going to be edited is the intro and outro. Um, but yeah, you know, there's so many things to live for. But if you're on any mental health pills and you want to get off of them, go to an apothecary. I want to open one in the next, hopefully, 10 years. I want to open one by the time I'm 35. I would like, to, I would like for that to happen. There's butterflies. Oh my god. You know, hold still. I want them to come over. Oh, there's butterflies, guys. See, today's a good day. There's no need to, you know, stress. Just take a deep breath in. To breathe. We have the sun shining. The grass is growing. We got flowers everywhere. You know, life, life is great. So I just wanted to kind of break the ice with this, with just of where it all started from. My, my best friend's not on this earth and I only have a mom. And also my ex-fiance I was with for eight and a half years was very life-sucking. There were, don't get me wrong, there were good moments. But you know, like, there's just certain things you just don't want to be in anymore because you want to grow and prosper and live. So, that's going to be it for today's Vlogmas. I'm not going to do beginning to end today. So, we might do this again tomorrow. And we'll see how it goes for the rest of the month. Gingy Buds is outie, guys. I'm going to go finish my tea. I'm going to immediately upload this so it's actually up on the same day. And happy Thursday. The vultures circling something over there. What a freaking beautiful day, guys. Happy Thursday. This is what I call my little mini jungle. We have a huge sea grape tree. I saw the squirrels picking up the sea grape berries off of it. And the sea grapes off of it this morning. Hurricane Irma really split off a lot of it that's why there's like this right here but it's really really cool these are little butterfly plants that's why we have so many butterflies i love it oh there's a dragonfly oh my god those bloom once a year those are easter lilies bamboo the neighbor's yard but yeah this is my little jungle, guys. This is where I come to ground myself relax. I can see it goes all the way back there. That's cool. And everything else. This is where I saw the hummingbird. Over here. All these little orange red flowers. Hmm. It's so cool.